Hey, hey, hello, it's me! If you don't know me, I've gone by many names. But did you know I also make music? I've gone by many names. I started making music back in late 2017, originally with instrumentals, because I was 15 and had enough self-awareness to know that the stuff I was writing was edgy as fuck. I released my debut EP on March 1st, 2018, meaning that I am late to its five-year anniversary, but you can't blame me. Th this thing is infamous for how garbage it is. Not many people have heard it, only about a handful of the ones I know in my personal life and then whatever possible plays it got on YouTube and SoundCloud. I haven't heard this album since 2020 when I listened to it with Jonas, and so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a reaction video for it. I don't think I need to do an intro for this, I think I just need to like hop right into it. Oh god, first song, done. Uh, Where's the bass? Nah, for real, where's the bass? It's so muddy. I have a guitar note playing at the same time as another one? Like the fade out, then I come in with another one? Like, it just sounds like shit! Ugh, the compression. You can hear the fucking fruity limiter on it. <laughs> the default fruity limiter? Ayo. I can't get over just how, like, there's no mid. There's like a no mid frequencies in it. It's just high and... Okay, switch up. Terrible, but... Damn, okay. I see what I was going for. But I'm using that shitty fucking Apple Studio guitar. Ugh. <laughs> oh. oh, the bass. The bass is so gross. That's gotta be like the worst bass I've ever heard. Oh yeah, and then it builds up into fire. That kick sound is so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, even that. Even the transition sounded awful. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to provide commentary uh, afterwards other than, God, that is dog shit. All right, next one is Fire. Oh no. This was the first song. Well, I guess technically Rain was the first song I ever made. Fire was like the first song I released and like the second song I ever made, probably. Okay, too much bass. Gun had no bass, now we have all bass! I still don't think it's that bad. Like, the actual guitar riff has, like, promise. It goes all over the place, though, just like everything else on this fucking EP. The thing is, is I know that this isn't the version that... The second verse is the fucking, um, Rubber Dubbers theme song. <laughs> Another build up. Like, I don't think we already just had one in the last verse. God, that sounds so terrible! <laughs> that was so bad! Why is it still going? Like, I literally just pressed random fucking notes. Like, it just keeps going. And there's no reason for it to. The mix is so bad as well. I mean, obviously, if I remember correctly, like that kick drum fucking volume knob at, at max. EQ boosting the fucking lows. The song's not even over. We have like a minute left. Oh God. Another build up? Why is every verse on here a fucking build up? Holy shit. God, the bass is so bad. It's so bad. That sounds terrible. That panning effect is so jarring. The going going down at the very end, that was also jarring as fuck. Holy shit, I just realized my fans are still on. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that, you could see how professional I am. I feel like since that was like the second song I made, I felt like you couldn't just go from one note to a completely different one. And like any time I wanted to switch the guitar riff to a different pitch, I had to climb up there and it's just so bad. It's just so bad. It's like you've never touched a guitar in your life and it shows. <laughs> All right, 8-Bit World. I remember this being, I got a like a sound pack of 8-Bit sounds and I may have found like presets and like probably like Fruity Harmless or some shit and made a 30 minute song out of it, oh God. Bro, I'm 
was influenced by System of Down before I even knew how to play that guitar riff. What was my thought process? What, what was I thinking? It's so loud as well, fuck. A lot of my audio right now for this vi I forgot that there's a switch up. This sounds so shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Did we just go back to normal? There's no point for this? Oh god, this is what No Thoughts Head Empty sounds like in music form. Okay, now we're in boss battle territory. It's just noise. <laughs> it's like kick. What are these synths? What is anything? I know you can't tell because the mask and everything, but I'm cringing heavily right now. Well, I guess that's a way you can end a song. I don't know what the fuck this was. You know, funny thing is I remember when I made a tweet while I was working on this EP and I was like, the songs that I make are just based off of like how I feel. Ah, so I feel like I'm in an 8-bit world. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, old. I don't know why I, I made a song called old. I was like 15. <laughs> oh, the vinyl. Classic vinyl, some piano. I remember this being like one of the better tracks on the EP, I'm not gonna lie. Probably is. Not made with FO keys. Surprisingly, honestly. I used some other like piano VST that I don't even know how the fuck you get a hold of, honestly. Eh, I, I guess it's not terrible. But also like that bass, so, way too overpowering. I mean, bass has always been way too overpowering in my music, but like this is just, uh, turn the bass down. Add more reverb on that piano, I mean, goddamn. Lower the volume on the fucking vinyl noise, holy shit. And then, yeah, I, again, just another one where I just placed too many notes. I don't know how to fucking play a piano, I was 16, 15! If anything, it's just boring, but I know that Faded is even more boring. Oh, and the bass faded out? Okay. And then that's it. That's the song, I guess. Like, the best one on the standard edition, but, I mean, you could only do so much. All right, final track, Faded. This is four minutes and I don't know why. More vinyl noise. <laughs> hey, there's that reverb. High pitch piano. Oh no. No. I think I put reverb on the master. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, just. Just fucking put down your random ass notes for four minutes. God damn. This is how I thought the outro track should be. Just boring. You can hear the kick sidechain the piano when that wasn't even intended. Like, I didn't know what sidechaining was, so the kick just naturally sidechains the piano because of that fucking default fruity limiter. We're halfway through the song. Okay, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, actually, I will give, I will give the EP this, that part in particular, kinda cool. Kinda cool melody. Like, with, with the, the low piano, that was kind of a little creepy. I mean, obviously better mix, but... It's giving me Batman vibes. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Okay, drums are gone. It's just vinyl noise, but there's still another minute left. Bring back the piano, okay, okay. I see, I see what I'm doing here. Playing the whole piano melody over vinyl static, okay. And so then the vinyl fades out. All right. Not a terrible way to end a song, but a terrible way to end an album. <laughs> honestly, like I don't, I don't hate it. It's, it's honestly not as bad as I thought. I haven't heard this EP in like three years. It's not as bad as I remember it being, but that is the standard edition. But wait, there's more. There's a deluxe edition of the EP, including four original tracks. Like and subscribe and maybe I'll do a part two. Nah, I'm a low key completionist. I'm gonna listen to them as well. I know these aren't good. <laughs> All right, the first song is uh, Space. 
This was originally going to be a rap song about my failing breakup that I was going through. And I wrote the lyrics and I went to go do the vocals and they were just so off because I didn't know how to actually record vocals properly. Nor did I know how to rap, honestly. <laughs> So I, I scrapped that, so it's just the instrumental. How, do, how does that sound? I don't actually know. I don't remember. Okay, using Toxic Biohazard, I remember that. Space and Daydreamer uses the fuck out of Toxic Biohazard. Huh. Kind of like that hi-hat, I'm not gonna lie. I like a low-pass hi-hat, I think I, li I, I like it. The melody's boring as fuck. Heavy ass bass, terrible mix as usual. Not that bad though. Okay, what is this supposed to be? Just like a random switch up? Just for the sake of changing it? Okay, I'm gonna be real though. I don't actually know if the song had a structure prior to me doing vocals or if I did all the structuring after the failed attempt. It's like an all right beat, I guess. I don't know why I thought put on the fucking EP. Yeah, best part is just that hi-hat. I, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> That little melody switch? That's a bit too complex for this version of me. <laughs> That's just how the song ends? Just a snare hit? Randomly? No build up? Huh. Alright, don't know why the fuck that was there. Next one, Psychotic. Oh no, this has, uh, this samples Metallica's one, and I'm so sorry. The sample flips are right, I mean, I think I literally just reversed it, that was all I did. <laughs> what are these strings? <laughs> oh god, they're so all time! They're so weirdly timed. It sounds so delayed! <laughs> so bad! <laughs> Ugh! I can feel myself just like... Ugh! It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> what is this? Why did I think this was okay to release? It, will, it just won't stop. It just won't stop. The strings will just keep going. How is this music? I, I called this psychotic, by the way. God damn. <laughs> oh no, the strings are back! Ugh. Oh, the clipping. The, that fucking, like, clicking noise whenever they change notes. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't even think they're in key, honestly. I don't even think I knew what key was. What the fuck? How is it so off-tempo? It feels like I can literally hear it not playing on the bar, and it's like, what the fuck? How did I fuck up MIDI that badly? I'm so sorry, Metallica, please forgive me. Alright, next one's Liquid Diamonds. I remember the inspiration for this track. This was my dad talking to me about some shit with Jupiter, and I guess they, like, actually have, like, Liquid Diamonds. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a cool name for a song. And I think I sampled Sounds of Jupiter. And that's it. Oh god, it's another four-minute song. Why did I make four-minute songs? These don't need to be four minutes! That's probably a Toxic Biohazard patch. Oh my god, no. No. I did not seriously sample Sky Does Minecraft. <laughs> That's the LA Light sample I've used on, like, multiple occasions. I had no idea I used it on Liquid Diamond. I knew it was on Snowfall. I thought it was only on Snowfall. It's fucking panning with the LA Light sample, oh god. Ugh. I'm just bored, honestly. Like, this isn't... Like, the Jupiter ambience is kind of neat. The synth line is shit, like usual. Drums are interesting. I'll, I'll give it that. My drums were really interesting back in the day. The penis is having a seizure! That's... I know 
don't hate this section, honestly. I think it's probably the best part of the whole song. <laughs> Why did I always think of going into the high register? Like, just playing high notes so much. I'm, I'm so sick of that LA light sample. The ambience of Jupiter, but it's being panned. Was it always panning? Okay. <laughs> that was bad. And finally, the last track, Daydreamer. I remember this actually being like the best song on the entire fucking thing. Because he uses that fucking toxic biohazard default ARP. Well, I don't know if it's default, but it's like an ARP. So I didn't come up with like any of this shit. I just played an ARP and then added drums, I think. Maybe a melody. I think I probably added a melody, but like... No, nah, like actually for real, this is the best one on the, the album. The whole EP, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I got a little bit of a vibe, you know? It's a nice vibe. The mix is actually like half decent. Why the hell this end up being a deluxe track? I have no idea. <laughs> it's funny when I think about like on Wallow Is My Pain, when I was making that, I wanted to have like a deluxe track that was so good that you're like, how the fuck was this deluxe and not on the standard edition? Ended up being Hotbox, but like, I already had it with Daydreamer. <laughs> I just love the fucking centaur, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, Toxic Biohazard slaps, I don't give a shit. <laughs> of course, going to the high register, I think there's like a different amount of time between each like melody section. And I kind of like that, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that sounds like how I'd end a song. And that's it! That's the Xander EP! Yeah, there's a reason why I don't have this online anymore. <laughs> Go stream uh, my latest song, Hyper Realistic. I fully produced that myself, and I think the production is a lot better than the Xander EP. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say other than maybe next year I come back and do this again with 17 on 14 and... I mean, that's 17 tracks though and like probably an hour and a half long, but that will be it. That would be a trip because I remember that album just being god awful with its mix. And of course, everyone has their own opinion, but my opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that out already. subscribe and please